Russia and North Korea have agreed to support one another in the event that either is attacked. It's the strongest partnership formed between Moscow and Pyongyang since the collapse of the Soviet Union. With the stroke of a pen, Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un are ushering in a new era of cooperation between their two countries. The leaders signed an extensive new pact Wednesday that includes a pledge to help each other if either country comes under attack at a time when both face escalating tensions with the West. This is a truly breathtaking document, reflecting the desire of the two countries not to stop there, but to raise our relations to a new qualitative level. They're now cementing their alliance, their axis of evil, if you will. With this new partnership, U.S. officials fear Russia will help North Korea enhance its nuclear weapons and missile programs, while North Korea keeps the Russian army supplied with weapons for its war in Ukraine. Putin and Kim have looked like old friends during this two-day summit. Driving around in a car, Putin gifted Kim, attending several ceremonies and even enjoying a concert. The deepening cooperation between Russia and the DPRK uh, is something uh, that should be of concern. It's something that we're going to continue to keep an eye on. Meanwhile, critics blame President Biden for not keeping his enemies closer. Biden hasn't talked to Putin in over two years. You can't treat an adversary that way. So what he's done, bottom line, he solidified the alliance. During their summit, Kim Jong-un reiterated his support for Russia's operations in Ukraine and praised the country's role in, quote, supporting strategic stability and balance in the world.